What you got is what you cannot see. Oh, that's real you. I said, now what you got is what you cannot see. Yeah, that's around you. It's around you. Oh, can you feel the love? Hell? You don't feel the love that's around you, baby. You see the love that's around you, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you feel the love? basically to explain to people what we do, get it on tape, so that we can actually spread this message across the, the world if we can. Viral marketing is the way to go. So let's see what happens here, right? Um, okay. Now, I like to start off by saying, are you sick of your job? Yeah. Are you sick of your life in this crazy, twisted, greed-filled society that we had before us? Are you tired of being sick? Are you tired of, uh, of being out of shape because of the many different ways we could be out of shape? Stuff like our computers and all of that. Um, well, we have answers for that. We the sheep people have answers for all of that. So like I say, overweight, underweight, heavyweight, lightweight, sick of waiting around for change. We've got a plan. Now, anybody in the room a doctor? Do you have a doctor here? I didn't think so. All right. Now... The great thing about it is, even if you were a doctor, you can help us change the world. And we can do that in a whole bunch of small steps. People say that you should vote with your dollar. Vote with your dollar. Yeah, let's vote with our dollar. Let's buy local. Let's buy uh, things from people that we know and that we trust. And that comes back down to putting money in each of our pockets instead of giving it to the big guy. Uh, Everybody's talking the 1%, the 99% and all that. And it really comes down to, okay, screw all that money that's not in our system anyway because it's in the pockets of others, right? What about the money we have? Now that money could be uh, pretty much brought down to uh, uh, where do you buy your groceries? Do you go to the, uh, to the three, three mile end and deal with the guy who's trying to make a living just like you? Or are you gonna go to low blocks? That's a choice you have every day. Now, what we the sheep people are basically uh, are a group of artists. We're trying to spread this message, and we've collaborated with farmers across the country. This is a national organization. Um, we've got a team on the West Coast. We've got a team on the East Coast. We're collaborated with uh, farmers, sustain uh, sustainable uh, companies, people that are actually trying to make a difference, and. Through the help of all these people, we've actually been able to get food directly from the farmers and feed it directly to people who need it. Presently, the bigger situa a big situation people aren't aware of in Canada is that one thirtieth of our population right now are starving. A thirtieth of Canadians right now, almost a million people, because we're a little over 30 million, but about a million people right now depend on food banks every day. Now. I met farmers, I met the great story of this girl, Amy, uh, she's from Ontario. She started to become an organic farmer because she went to her uh, local community food bank to give food baskets to, for over the holidays. And she couldn't believe the people that she saw every day in her community that were hungry and that depended on this food bank for their family over the holidays. It astounded her. So much so she decided to become a farmer take a percentage of what she grows, and she gives it away. And now we're getting more and more farmers across the country to do this. Now the other thing that we want to talk about here is the importance of artists in our society. Artists have a great power. A lot of people listen to us. Right now, I have over 10,000 people who listen to me online. Now, if every single one of our networks were to combine and spread that message like we've seen through the Occupy movement, to start talking about feeding our own. 
the most important thing. People talk about, you know, how can we contribute to the, the economy, the world we live in, all this crap that is exterior to us. What is interior to us? The food that we put in our bodies. Every single one of us have two things in common, right off the bat. We all need food, we all need water to survive. And those things are controlled by these corporations that right now, if they, people talk about in the streets, for instance, all the, uh, all the uh, cops coming in and busting the Occupy camps and getting guns put in your face, forget the guns. Let's get back to the food supply. Because they could choose at any time to make our bread $5, $6, $7, $10 a loaf if it comes to that. Now, how do we get back, how do we take back our food supply? If everybody in Canada, every one of us right now, were to grow four by four square feet of food, and we were to share that, we could stop hunger in Canada. And it's one little way. So by pooling all our resources and through our art, that's why I'm trying to reach out to artists. I need artists, I need video crews, I need uh, people in every style and every walk of life to get on board with the We The Sheep People train, because we're growing. We're over 30 team members across Canada, uh, we're networking with all sorts of various groups that are trying to make a difference in the world, and we need every single one of you. We need every single one of you to come and help us and actually spread the message through an edutainment movement. That's what I call it. We're an edutainment movement. Uh, I produced an album this year with the help of our group. Uh, we've got uh, basically over an hour of music that we sell for five dollars through a recyclable little card. No more plastic, no more extra paper. Everybody listens to the music online. They buy the card, they download the album. That's how we're raising funds. Every word on that album is about over consumerism. It's all about what's happening on the planet and how we can stand up and actually make a difference together. So that's the message I'm trying to spread all across the country every day. I've done, uh, I don't know, about 100,000 kilometers in the last couple of years, and uh, booking back and forth, ocean to ocean, nonstop, getting people on board with what we do. Because we can make a difference, but we've got to work on the concrete things. And I see two problems in Canada. One, we've got to take back our food supply because it's the most essential thing for our basic survival. Two, we've got to get that problem in Alberta called big oil. We've got to do something about that. But that's a really hard one to conquer. So let's try to start with the first one. The first one is the food. Let's take the food back. We can all do that with every one of your help, whether we're growing it ourselves or we're helping promote those people that are doing so. Let's try to get together collectively and make a difference. So I'd like to thank everybody that's here tonight and uh, all the people who are going to be uh, showing their stuff. Uh, it's a great collaboration of new faces and new people for me. I try to get involved with every network I can in this country, and you guys are a new network. So, welcome, have a good night.
Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. More stuff.